um, complimenta, you know, congratulazione um, to my players. You know, they uh, they gave it all. They, I think they gave Venezia a really, really good fight. Um, I think for most of the game we played the right way. Um, you know, I, there were a few phases in the game I thought where the, where the ball got stopped a little bit too much and we went too much for like, a, a, you know, hero ball. But uh, I think we fixed it well. You know, um, we just, we just, our energy was great. I don't know how many offensive boards we had, but we were really crashing hard, and it got us a, got us also like a, a momentum going. Um, when we had, I think, three threes, three offensive boards in a row. When he hit that three, I thought that was that was really big. Um, so you know, Venezia is a top team. You know, in the Euro Cup, um, you know they, they they've been. Uh, they played really well this weekend in, in Budognost. You know, they beat Ulam. I thought they were really uh, on the way up with all the guys that they recovered. So also congratulations to them with, with winning those big games in the Euro Cup. But, uh, um, yeah, compliment uh, to my players. Fai complimenti ai suoi giocatori per aver giocato una grande partita, aver combattuto con Venezia dal, dal Palla 2. Alla fine hanno messo la partita dove volevano, quindi nella durezza, nella, nella corsa, nell'intensità. Eh, a parte alcune situazioni in cui ehm, abbiamo ecceduto con gli uno contro uno la squadra comunque ha giocato insieme e quindi abbiamo, abbiamo veramente lottato quindi congratulazioni ai miei giocatori perché hanno battuto una grande squadra che fino a tre giorni fa ha conquistato una grande vittoria con una squadra top di Eurocup come Buduk nostro se ci sono domande sì, coach, eh, dopo Giovanni De Nicolao e Giancarlo Ferrero stanno emergendo sempre di più eh, avendo tanti minuti a disposizione eh, questa è una delle chiavi eh, per, per queste vittorie con, nonostante manchino manchi il pivot e manchino insomma, la squadra sia un po' di eh, De Nicolao and Ferrero stepping up do you think it's uh, a key, key staff on your growth despite you don't have a center? Um. Yeah, I mean, actually, both guys. I want to say they uh, they gave me a really warm welcome in Varese. They've been, uh, um, yeah, they, they really helped me to to uh, uh, to feel warm welcomes, to to feel home in uh, Varese. I want to say that first. Um, really good people, and I think they they try to play the right way and they they go hard, man. Like um, Joe is setting the tone for us each night on on defense. Uh, you know, Janka. Um, I mean, this this guy has. Unbelievable energy! Like he has, when we do the huddle, man, this guy screams so hard. Like I've never had that in 19 years. The guy is so full of fire and energy, it, it, and it just carries over to the team. And yeah, they're obviously really important for us, you know. Um, and obviously, it's nice that they're Italian and uh, um, that they're playing well, you know. But uh, all the credit to them, you know. They they play the right way. Um, they're excellent teammates, and uh, let's continue like that. Sì, sono prima di tutto due belle persone perché l'hanno aiutato nel suo adattamento a Varese nei primi giorni e questa come prima cosa. E poi Giovanni è stato molto importante stasera nelle due metà campo perché anche in difesa ha diciamo, guidato, guidato il reparto e ha dato ordine ai canesti in attacco. Per quanto riguarda invece Ferrero ha dato grande energia non soltanto in campo ma anche ad esempio fuori quando... Ogni volta che si fa gli urla, eh, l'urlo insieme di squadra è sempre quello che dà più la carica di tutti, per cui sicuramente hanno giocato due par una partita importante eh, a servizio della squadra. Grazie. Coach, una gara in cui per il giocato spesso con assetti piccoli, tre play maker, tre play guardia, tutti in campo, eppure di squadra che vinta ancora una volta l'imbarazzo e sottolineerei uh, you played a good team on the crash the board very well. They play um, a lot on the paint, and especially Sorok has played a great game. So, what do you think about it? About Paul? About the, the front court, your front court. Oh, you my play. front court? Yeah, I mean, I. I you, you get a, a lot of boards. Yeah, I mean, we, we are. We, yeah, I mean. It, Rebounding is just a matter of like how bad do you want it. It's not about how big or strong you are. Um, you know, I think the I think the guys understand we, we you know we have a certain system that that they execute really well, and I think it helps us to get a lot of offensive boards. But um, you know they they're very mobile, which I like. You know, Paul uh, uh, even with uh, 
Um, you know, with Sim, when we go out to five, we're just really, we're really we're mobile and we're flexible. You know, we can roll, we can pop. I think it gives teams problems that we can mix it up. Um, and then and Janka, but also Justin Reyes today did a good job at the four. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it was big for us because we had some foul trouble with with Paul, um, and Justin was able to give us those minutes that we needed to uh, yeah, to survive a little bit before Paul was back. So it was a real team effort. But uh, I'm I'm really happy with the front court because it's just it's aggressive, it's mobile, um, and they execute. Sì, no, il nostro reparto lungo è molto flessibile. Eh, possiamo giostrare in diversi modi eh, la, la, tutte le diverse situazioni è chiaro che siamo andati molto bene a rimbalzo offensivo che è una cosa che dipende molto da quanto fuoco hai dentro e quanta volontà hai dentro non da, tanto dalla taglia che hai però sicuramente Sorocas è stato determinante ha avuto un po' di problemi di falli però è riuscito a gestirsi bene e siamo riusciti comunque a gestire tutto il reparto eh, offensivo perché comunque è stato una, uno sforzo di squadra a posto? Vai. Coach, buonasera, complimenti per la vittoria. Eh, volevo sottolineare la prova dei due giovani che gli hanno dato tanta energia e hanno giocato di quasi 10 minuti a testa. È questo un suo modo di intendere fare la canestro, quindi cercare energia anche dai ragazzi giovani, cosa che non si vede molto spesso in Italia? He left a lot to guys very young playing. Mm -hmm. It's your kind of way to uh, coach basketball? Yeah, I actually I, I did it a lot in, in Göttingen, you know, with just Lockhart, Grutner, uh, Hund, um, you know, I, I, we, uh, Baguette and Bamberg. I, I think I brought a lot of young guys um, to be real D1 players or even national team players, but um, it's only because they, they, I think they have the right attitude, you know, that's, that's really like, they have the right attitude, Nico and, and Libro, um, they go hard every day, they, they, they fit what we want, um, and I think we have a really good setup, you know, last night I think both played uh, a lot of minutes in the third division, uh, which helps them to you know, be, be there like in a different role as a, as a main player, I think it helps us, um, you know, today, that they get those minutes, because obviously they're uh, and their minutes sometimes will be probably a little bit up and down. You know, if, if, if you know, today I thought Nico was better than Libro, for example, so I played Nico a little bit more definitely in the second half. Um, but the, those are those are good players. You know, they uh, um, they they have both have some qualities um, that that I like, and uh, that's why I, I hope we can even make them better. You know, I think they're and with the playing time they're getting, you know, they're getting a lot of experience. You know, they're making a lot of mistakes. We can analyze them. We're going to try to work on this and get them better. You know, and. Um, young guys only get better with, with, with playing time, you know, like sitting on the bench, you know, then uh, they have to become coaches. È una cosa che ho sempre cercato in carriera di premiare l'attitudine dei ragazzi giovani e di chi ha appunto ha voglia di emergere e il fatto che riescano a fare questa esperienza venendo dai ad esempio ieri in cui hanno giocato nella loro divisione E, e oggi hanno incrementato eh, minuti e l'esperienza questo fa parte della, della loro formazione è chiaro che ci sono tanti errori tante cose su cui lavorare però sicuramente il fatto di giocare eh, già i minuti importanti nella prima squadra li aiuta a crescere sono dei ragazzi di valore eh, sono dei ragazzi che hanno voglia di lavorare e sicuramente eh, sono validi per la nostra squadra